Hi everyone, welcome back to Happy Hot Home. So I'm gonna start a new series on my channel, Cleaning with Happy Hot Home. And we are gonna to start today. And this is gonna be a very deep cleaning project. This is going to be a cleaning project of a bathtub that has really bad rust stains on it. So yes, these are stains that um, have been there for a couple months. My cleaners haven't been able to remove them and you can actually see them on the shower curtain behind me. I'm in my daughter's bathroom. It's a really, really cute bathroom. I did a few years ago put in like a brand a new vanity with marble countertops, really cute. You know, it's got a nice little chandelier. If you can see that up there. And it's just a really cute space, but it's just been destroyed by our um, water softener system breaking. Um, so we haven't had a water softener in a couple months and it's just wreaked havoc with all of our sinks and tubs and toilets and faucets. So I'm gonna find a solution, um, have a couple products that um, the water softener people recommended they gave me some of the stuff that they use. So I'm gonna be trying a couple different things. We're gonna see what works. And I thought I would bring you along and you would be interested in, in, in seeing um, this type of video if you have very similar issues. Um, it's so bad. It's like really embarrassing. You don't believe how bad it is. I was shocked when I came in. I don't come in here all that often. My daughter's away at college, so I don't see it very often. Um, but when I came in, it's, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Okay. We are going to get started. Um, hope you enjoy the video and I hope it works. Okay. So let's get on with this and see if it works. How bad is this bathtub? This is so disgusting. It has so much rust stain on it. It's absolutely horrifying. And it is a beautiful marble, pink marble tile bathroom. This is my daughter's bathroom. I don't normally come in here, but I was horrified when I came in to see all of this rust on the tub that just won't come off. Our water softener broke, so a lot of the iron has been staining our toilets and tubs, and I had to go find a solution to fix this. So I went out and got something. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see if it works. I really hope it does, because this is just absolutely awful. So um, I'm gonna give it a try, and we're gonna see how it is. All right, so I'm pouring some cleaner on the sides and it appears to be working. I think this is gonna take some scrubbing, but wow, I'm really pleased with the results so far. I mean, you can see it come off of the sides just where I've squirted. So let's put some more over there. Wow, look at the, that's pretty impressive. Let's continue this. Let's see how it looks. Wow, I mean, look at that. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's it's working. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm so excited. Why is this making me so happy? This looks really great. Alright, so I'm gonna where's my little scrubby thing? I'm gonna take a little this, see if it so you know, so it doesn't look like the scrubbing is really having an effect on it. So, you don't need to scrub, you really just need to make sure that the whole surface 
gets covered. Yeah, not, not having an effect, not doing anything. So, all right, that's fine with me. I am going to continue on and put more of this product cleaner around. Hope everything gets covered and call it a day. I mean, this is great. Look at this. I'm gonna put some up there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that like incredible? Wow. Hope that's not gonna ruin the tile, but you know, if it takes a little damage, that's fine. But this is, I may use like a whole bottle on this on this tub, which is perfectly fine. Hey, to get this rust off, I will take the sacrifice of a whole bottle's worth because this is just awful. Look at that. It's incredible. I mean, wow. Look at that, you guys saw it with your own eyes. That's amazing. So the tub was completely dry. Um, it didn't have any water in it. Um, so, you know, I tried a little bit in the toilet bowl and you know, the toilet bowl has water in it. Didn't do quite as good a job. So I'm thinking to use it with the toilet bowl, you have to maybe empty the water that's presently in the toilet, but I'm super impressed with what is going on here. So you can see this, this was a huge change. I have to work a little bit more over here. Again, it is marble. Um, hopefully it's not gonna damage it, but it's really just this one section. You can see up there, you know, the water doesn't hit up there, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna have to go over this section maybe a little bit more. Should I just try to squirt more on here? See what it does? I mean, it turns a color right away. Maybe it's just so bad. The buildup is so bad. I just need to use a lot of it. Again, I don't think the scrubbing really, really does much, but isn't that just incredible what it did to the tub? I'm like so impressed. This really is like no scrubbing. It's unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm going to get this rinsed off, show you what it looks like in the end, maybe work on this marble a little bit more, and yeah, um, I'll be back. So I've been scrubbing this section and it's making a little bit of a difference. It's getting a little bit of the rust off and you can see it you know, kind of coming down there. So that is making a little bit of a difference. I think I just need to repeat it a couple times to do a really good job, but yeah, so it's working there. Again, the scrubbing didn't do much on the bathtub and I'm gonna turn the shower on and get this all rinsed out and show you how it looks at the end. And I'm gonna do a little bit more scrubbing here on the marble. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how it looks. So I'm rinsing more of it off. I went through another application. Look how much better it looks. That is a very stubborn stain. I went through an entire bottle. Um, I've only gone over this area one time, but it's already made a significant difference. And you can see all of the dirt as it is. I have a shower on now. You can see all of the dirt flowing down in, you know, from the sides into the tub. But it made a dramatic, dramatic difference. Really, really incredible. So, and the scrubbing did help on the wall. It did nothing to the tub. When I scrubbed it on the tub, I don't know if it's the material or what, but it really did make a difference when I was scrubbing the marble wall. So I can't really explain that, just sharing my experience with you about why it did that. But I'm gonna go get my second bottle because I ordered two 
and I'm going to continue on this area and then let you know how it, how it looks when I'm all done. Okay, so I went down and got a second bottle. I went through the entire first bottle and I want to work on this side a little bit more. I've only gone through it once and as you can see there is still, you know, some yellow, yellow stains on it. And I mean, this side isn't too bad. I don't want to use more than I have to, but this is just stubborn as can be, isn't it? That one keeps coming back. Looks like it goes away and then it comes back a little bit. So let's hit this one again. And I may have to dry everything. I wonder if I should dry it to make it stick better. But I'm gonna hit this area also get it completely covered. Let's see. Completely covered. Let it sit on there a little bit. That area up there is starting to look a little yellow. So let's hit this cover this down. Again, it seems to work better on dryer because, you know, on the water it just seems to kind of mix with the water and not adhere as well to the stone. But I'm just going to let that just sink down, let all of the rust just fall off. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do with this. Let me see if I rub it. Oh, almost slipped there. You got to be careful. That did help. That did help a little bit. It looks better in person than it does on the video, but it did help a little bit. So probably just need to go over that a couple more times. I'm gonna rinse that off, but that did help. That came out a little bit, a little better. But yeah, it's slippy or slippery over here, so I'm putting making sure the stepping on the rug. But look at that. Isn't that like a big change? Wow, even that, that right side. So I'm gonna scrub this a little bit more. I really wanna stick my foot in the bathtub so I can reach it better. But I need both hands to do this because I need to support myself over there without getting in the bathtub. So I'm gonna scrub it and I'll be back. So, so again, I'm rinsing off this area. It just looks so much better. Look at that from a distance, how much better that looks. Now you can really see where there is more yellow in the stone. Like maybe a little bit in that corner, maybe a little bit. But that stain is super stubborn. And now you can see a little bit more. I haven't touched these stones at all. I am wearing gloves, notice. This, these chemicals are really harsh. As you can see, the light go in and out. There you go, that light is better. To really get you a better idea of what the stone and the tub looks like. The lighting appears that it's getting a little yellow at times, but there you go. When I move further out, you can see it a little bit better the actual natural coloring. And you can see, oh, see where I put, oh, where I put my glove, that's what it is. When I put my glove in front of it, it changes the lighting a little bit. But, so over here on the faucet, this area is a little bit yellow still. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit more. Maybe try to hit that one stubborn stain again, but I'm really happy with the way that this is, this is turning out. Again, on the stone, on the wall, scrubbing did help, but on the bathtub, it did not help at all. And I've got stuff sitting in the toilet. We're gonna see how the how it is in the toilet, but I think I may have to empty all the water out of the toilet for it to do really a good job there, but I'll be back. So I hit that area in the corner to the left of the faucet and Actually to the right, maybe I can get a little bit down there too, right? Just 
to kind of like hit this whole area. Yeah, it's working great. Really, really is. So, you know, <laughs> it doesn't really say do not use on marble, but I'm going to be extra cautious here. And I'm just giving you my experience of how this is working, but I can't, you know, come out and say, yeah, definitely use this on your marble, it's fine. Um, you know, marble is a very expensive stone. These are marble tiles. It does seem to be working well, but you know, I'm very reluctant in saying, yes, definitely use it on your marble. So I would say, just be very careful, test it in an area before you go start squirting all over your marble like I did. Um, so that's the disclaimer I just wanna say, you know, just be very, very careful. I'm just sharing my experience of trying to get rid of these rust stains. I was really willing to try anything. Um, and if it ruined the marble, you know, it ruined the marble. I was willing to risk that. But if you're not willing to risk it, then I would say don't, you know, don't go all crazy and, you know, pour it all over your marble like I did. All right, gonna clean it up and show you one last final look. All right, I have it all rinsed off and I cannot believe the difference. What do you all think? This is incredible. You saw what it looked like before, right? It's amazing. That one little stubborn spot, I didn't go over it again. I'm a little worried about, you know, putting too much on there. Um, maybe I'll give it a little bit of a rest, but could probably go over it one or two more times, lighten the stain a little bit. But my gosh, compared to the difference, it was, it is just incredible. Incredible. Um, right down there around the drain, I'm not sure why that is being extremely stubborn. I'm going to put one more dose of this stuff on it. And if this doesn't work, I have another cleaning product that um, my septic people recommended that I've been using on some of my sinks. So I'm going to try that and let you know how that works. But that's really the only thing that won't come off. And if I touch it, it's... It's kind of rough around the edges, so I don't know why this is being more stubborn than everything else. Um, but it's really just incredible. So again, you know, can't say I'm recommending that you guys start squirting this all over your precious stones or any material you have, but I'm just giving my experience on what worked for me. And in terms of a tub, this is probably, I mean, it's not a plastic tub. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure what tubs it will work on, but it's probably one of the um, higher end tubs, you know, not one of the tubs that you get now that are plastic, not like a builder grade tub. So I'm not sure how it will work on a builder grade tub, tub, but I should let you know that, that what type of material this tub is. So there you have it. What do you think? think? I'll let you Next know thing that. I need to figure out is, you know, the shower curtain has some rust stains on it. So I'm gonna have to find, maybe if I can find some laundry detergent or something, that will get rust stain off of clothes. That is gonna be the next thing that I'm going to have to figure out. I mean, of course I could just replace the curtain. They're not super expensive, but I do like this. And, you know, I redid my daughter's bathroom a few years ago and, you know, it is very pretty and very pink. Um, you know, put in a new marble vanity. Um, it's a little messy now, but you know, did a lot to it. So I do like the shower curtain. So I'm gonna see what I can do to get rid of some of those stains. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helps some of you that have that may have rust problems in your house. Let me know if it works for you and I'll see you next time. Bye.